Hi, my name is Bob. And my name is Edna. And this is Baby. Baby. And we're going to talk about tips for a successful honeymoon in Ireland. Okay, so budgeting. Budgeting is going to be key in your successful honeymoon. Uh, things can get overlooked. Or you might not account for certain things, but if you want a successful honeymoon, you got to make sure you have your budget in place. There's a lot of advice out there on how to fund a honeymoon. One of the most popular ones is honeyfund.com. It's a website that allows people to go in there and register and just contribute to your honeymoon. That's right. So what we did for our wedding is we asked our guests to give us money instead Instead of giving us gifts instead of going and getting a registry we ask for them on a little note in our invitation to give us honeymoon fund money instead of pots and pans and to be honest all of that stuff all the kitchenware that's easy to get throughout your marriage we've been doing it for these last few months so don't even worry about it you'll be fine get it funded just cash cash is king in the situation okay so now one of the ways that you want to go about this is by sitting down and sitting down with your partner make sure that everything is accounted for because one person might think of something but the other person will think of something else now you might want to think about what is more important on this trip whether it's you get souvenirs or experiences that's something that you really have to talk with with your future you know husband or wife okay now tips for lodging now this is gonna be very important for you to start planning up in, uh, in advance to make sure you get the best prices so what we did is instead of getting hotels we used Airbnbs so Airbnbs are gonna be your best friend in this situation we got to know a lot of cool people just by staying in the Airbnbs so it's very affordable and you're gonna get to know the people in Ireland and the best part is they give you great tips all the locals there have great tips of where to go and not so much go to the touristy parts but to the most local and the most exciting parts of wherever you are in Ireland. Castle hotels are very popular if you're gonna be in your honeymoon. We have a few recommendations that we would like to make to you guys because honestly, there's a ton of castles and even though we haven't even experienced all of them, we did experience two. Now, one of them we actually found through Airbnb. That was Abbey Glen in Galway, beautiful castle. They have top-notch service, they'll cater to you, they'll make sure that you're okay. Ballyseed was another castle that we visited. It's uh, located in County Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful castle and a very good staff. Uh, and don't forget to tell people that you're on your honeymoon. You're going to get hooked up. They're going to give you free stuff. So just make sure that you have, always have that in mind. Okay, now tips on eatery. You have to go for the fish and chips. I actually have fish and chips in every city and right now what I'm about to do for you guys and give you the best fish and chips spot in Ireland. That's going to be in Dark East Kelly. That's right. So we got this tip from one of the people that we stayed with. They have the best tips because they live there so they know where to go. Best food and best live music ever. Not only are you gonna get fish and chips, you're gonna get excellent live music very salty key kind of feel to it it's right next to christ church in the center of uh, dublin so just make sure you make your way to that spot we bought our meals we sat down and we listened to live music we were there for hours it was amazing and it was beautiful black pudding black pudding is one of the tastiest things that i've ever had in my life get some black pudding and uh with an irish breakfast completely completely savory and to me it was one of the best things that i had from my life some general tips while you're on your honeymoon. This is a very special time in your life that you get to be with your husband or wife and enjoy time together. 
Really make the effort of having a great time. Go out, enjoy the food, enjoy the people, uh, go to the pubs. We chose to go to Ireland. It was the best decision ever. We have sweet, wonderful memories about Ireland. We definitely want to go maybe when we're, you know, 10 years married. Ireland was the perfect place to be. There was so much to see, so much to experience, and now I remember all those experiences because I was with, with my wife. We were there for 10 days. It was actually a perfect amount of time. We went to Wicklow, we went to Westport, which was a very dainty little quaint town. There's so much to do, but when you're with your significant other, it just makes everything much better. One of the best uh, cities that we enjoyed was Sligo. We had a very romantic um, Friday night. We went to the movies there and we just almost felt like we were part of Ireland. Definitely go to Ireland, enjoy it. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. The locals are amazing. The food is actually amazing and have a great time. So this concludes our video about our honeymoon and our stay in Ireland. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'd like to hear your comments about anything else. Please write them below. Yeah, so thank you for spending some time. We're going to be making more videos. But we also want to get some feedback. Uh, we're going to be posting at least once a week. So this is the first of many. And uh, God bless.